It's something good, unexpected, and seemingly inexplicable happens. It's often assumed to be the result of divine or angelic intervention. The Bible mentions angels about 300 times from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. How are angels born? Angels appear in several religions. In Islam, angels are said to be made of light, while in Christianity, angels were willed into being by God. Early versions of angels had no gender. Later in Christianity, we began to see description of angels as tall, slender males with soft features, often dressed in flowing robes, specially tailored around their large white wings. So what is an angel? The word angel comes from the Greek word anglos, which means messenger in Hebrew. Angels can take many forms, usually appearing as a human or a glowing light or aura. Often, especially in cases of averted tragedy or disaster, angels will not be seen at all, but instead, their presence is recognized by their actions. It's something good, unexpected, and seemingly inexplicable happens. It's often assumed to be the result of divine or angelic intervention. The angels most people are familiar with today are the Christian angels, which originated from the Hebrew Testament. There is a hierarchy within the angelic realm of archangels holding the highest of positions closest to God. Angelic beings are very mysterious, and the human mind cannot understand entirely their makeup. How many angels are in heaven? But ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. The Bible indicates that there is innumerable company of angels in heaven. Only three angels are specifically named in Scripture, Gabriel, Michael, and Lucifer. Do angels appear to humans? Angels occasionally feature in reports of near-death experiences, though mostly in those who have a pre-existing belief in them. Among UFO believers, some claim that alien abductors are actually angels instead of extraterrestrials. The angel Gabriel appears in four passages of Scripture. With each encounter, he comes with a message twice to the prophet, Daniel, then to the priest, Zechariah, father-to-be of John the Baptist, and lastly to Mary, mother-to-be of Jesus the Messiah. Gabriel is an angel who appears in human form, but may have a look about him that causes fear. He admits to standing in the presence of God, by whom he is sent, to Daniel, Zechariah, and Mary. We also see a demonstration of supernatural power as he comes in flight and can mute a man. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. Zechariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man and my wife is well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been set to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled by his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. Archangel Michael also appears in four passages of Scripture. He's described as an archangel in Jude chapter 1 verse 9 and elsewhere as one who engages in the heavenly warfare. He is also referred to as a chief prince, one who works to protect God's people. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 says, Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. In Daniel chapter 10, verse 13, he is spoken of by another angel, one who is not named. He talks of coming to Daniel sooner, but is delayed. He says, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me, because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Do humans have a guardian angel? It is believed that everyone has a guardian angel. They are sent by God to help you. Just be aware that they are not to be worshipped. Only God should be worshipped. Angels are here to help mankind. 
they can help divert danger from an individual. Angels have much power and can carry out many supernatural tasks because they are given this power by God. Angels often show up to warn you of danger or that a demonic presence is nearby and is coming to attack. Are there angels on earth? Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2 says, Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. The Bible says to love your neighbor as you love yourself. This could be hard to do at times, but knowing that a stranger could be an angel in disguise is sobering. You never know when you could be tested by God through one of his trusted angels. Be kind to one another, especially to strangers. You might be entertaining an angel.